Hey guys, McGuffin here with some more StarCraft 2 action. And today we're going to be seeing a Protoss vs Zerg on Crossfire. Not a map we see very often anymore, but it is going to be between NS Hoso Sage and Startail King Kong. Now, I haven't seen much of King Kong. I believe Sage was in Code A for a while, and it looks like the. whoever the uh, observers are pinging like mad. Don't know why. Anyway, guys, uh, if you've been playing Diablo 3 lately, I hope you've been enjoying it. Of course, there has been one person who's already dead now from playing it. Uh, some 30 year old guy is playing it for three days, and he is dead. And not the first guy to die playing Diablo, and probably won't be the last, so just remember to take things in moderation, guys. Alright, so the Protoss probe is going at about 9 supply, putting down a low ground pylon, which of course means the Protoss fast expand. And positioning probe looks like it's going to be a Nexus first. We'll have to see how the Zerg reacts. This is, again, as mentioned, Crossfire isn't used very much. It was created for the GSL, and I believe this is for the Korean Weekly. And of course, uh, you can win code A spots, I believe, through playing that. So, a pretty important game for these two players. Now, I don't know too much about King Kong's style. He is up to about 13 drones. Looks like he's starting to bank minerals now, so he could be going for either really early spawn goal. Oh, no, guess first. So, he could probably be going for a speedlink expansion. And that guess first is really because he wants to get a 13 gas, 13 pull, and then you can stop any pylons and cannons going up. And of course, uh, that's what a lot of Zergs are doing at the moment. You get that security from the Zerglings, and you take your third, and then you can counter with the extra base, or you can try and go for some all in. Protoss is now saving up, and he is up to about 300 minerals, so it hasn't put down its forge yet. So it looks like it will be a Nexus first, and there is only one spawn location on this map, and of course it is the crisscross spawn. The probe is already at the low ground, and it looks like he might be dropping down the pile to block, or he's just waiting. Of course, he, little does he know that the uh, Zerg is already mining gas. It's not going to be a very effective block. The Nexus is down before the forge now, so it's a very economic build by the Protoss. Should be dropping down that forge just... Yep, there it goes. And he probably has noticed that the Zerg hasn't expanded by now, so he's probably going to be considering that it's going to be a pull first build. Zerg continuing to mine gas. It looks like he's up to about 100. He's going to pull off. Pulls off to 1 on gas, which is what... Uh, nice timing. It just allows you to get things when you want after a metabolic boost is finished. Looks like the drone is now going in. He has started the pylon, so it's going to be annoying to get that out. He has noticed that it's gas first, and he's probably going to try and get an extra cannon here. If you see a Zergen has already got the gas, you might want to spend a bit more on cannons and get that wall finished off quickly. His real only option for getting the wall off finished immediately would be to get two gates instead, because the cybernetic core is going to be delayed for quite a while. I have to see if the Zerg goes straight for the Protoss, he could potentially get in. It depends. Is he going to go for the... yeah, he's going for the pylon. Protoss trying to hide his probe here, which is always a good move. I have to see where the Zerg goes, and he does have... Let's have a look at the production tabs. He's starting his drone production here. He is up to 300, so he could be going for an expansion now. He's going to catch that probe, though. So the Protoss is building the extra gate, and you can always build this gate and then cancel it just before it finishes, just in case, and it completes his one and one cannon. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it's on the second one. Zerglings were looking diligently for that probe. They found it, unfortunately, just the last moment. If he'd wait a little bit more... And, ooh, what do we have here? A layer going down. Looks like he's doing a layer rush, and that is a very uncommon build from Rosurg. He is getting a second cannon, so it looks like he knows that something's up. There's no expansion yet, so he's probably thinking it's going to be a roachling all in. We do see a baneling nest as well. And, ooh, what is this going to be? With the position of this over... Ooh, actually, this could be the nest T build that we saw in the GSL a long time ago. Back when Forgefast Expand had no counter. Uh, Nesty did this move where he gets a quick Overlord creep spread and he starts putting spine crawlers, and that's something I haven't seen in ages, and it's really hard to pull off. I tried it a few times myself, and worked about 50 50. Yeah, we see three drones coming up, but that is the tell. He is going to be trying to build some spine crawlers, and how's the Protoss going to react to this? Because he's walled in, and he's only got a couple of zealots. It looks like he's going to chrono boost out a couple more. Stop drone production, getting another photon cannon. He's got two bases, so all he has to do is really hold off his attack. A lot of banelings are going to come here in a moment, and all the creep started. The Protoss should be able to see that by now. He has seen it, so he's going to get panicked. We do have the Simon Escort coming down, and Spine Claws have started to run inside the field of vision, and these might be in range, and... oh, he's going out his own pylon. He needs to get out of this base quickly, and there's only two Zealots here at the moment. He's currently boosting out some more, but there's easily enough Zerglings to deal with this. And pulling out some probes as well, and he is going out on the Spine Claws, and the Zerg is running into the base. He... oh, blocked off, unfortunately, and... oh, this is a bad movie. I think he just needs to defend his Spine Crawlers. He goes back, but unfortunately, nice position by the Protoss, actually. That was a, such a bad move by the Zerg. I really wanted to see this work, but all he had to do was keep the Zergs here and wait for the Spine Crawler to finish. But it looks like the Zerg is going to lose this game. He is sending in more reinforcements, but these Spine Crawlers are never going to finish. Well, this one finishes, and this one finishes, but realistically, they're not going to do any damage. 
Berserk is in a really hard spot here. Unfortunately, he's going to be behind in workers, and, and that looks like he leaves the game. So I was really hoping that would work, actually. I haven't seen him in a while, and it's quite a cute play. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and that's a good example of what you can do when you see this build. You have to do the crisis management. There's Protoss he walled off inside his base, so this is the only place he can attack, and then he just went out and dealt with the problem. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and see you next time.